Welcome to Nicholas 11x12. Today I'd like to compare the new NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics card with the AMD R9 Fury X and R9 Fury GPUs. Yes, I am aware this is a bit unfair, but people will eventually ask for this comparison, so I better do it right away to save myself some time. The NVIDIA GTX 1080 Pascal GPU of course is a totally new card, whereas AMD's R9 Fury X and Fury GPUs are still part of the old generation. But at the time of this video AMD has yet to release their new GPU series and once that happens, you can definitely count on me covering these as well. The R9 Fury and GTX 1080 aren't all that far apart when it comes to pricing. However, the Fury Non-X seems to be a much better deal, but not necessarily better than the GTX 1080. And that's what the following benchmarks are going to tell us. Take a look. So as you saw yourselves, all three of these graphics cards perform really well and I'm not exactly sure why but I've always liked the R9 Fury a lot for some reason. But clearly this round goes to Nvidia's GTX 1080, as one should expect to be honest since we're looking at a completely new GPU generation with a 16 nanometer process now. I can't wait to see what AMD has to offer once they release their competitor to Nvidia's king for now, the GTX 1080. From what we've seen at benchmarks, it's not worth it at all to pick up an R9 Fury X. They're hard is any difference between the Fury and the Fury X. The price premium simply isn't worth it in my opinion. The Fury is a much better choice but probably not the ideal one now that the new GPUs are being released. However, if you happen to find good deals on these older cards, go ahead I'd say. The GTX 1080 is a real beast. At 1440p gaming at maxed out settings works out like a charm. We are definitely getting a good amount of FPS. Nvidia's GTX 1080 is equipped with 8GB of the new GDDR5X video memory, Whereas AMD's R9 Fury X and Fury cards both feature HBM VRAM of the first generation with capacities of 4GB. At that height of a price tag 4GB is questionable though, but for now that's HBM 1's limitation. HBM is very fast though and offers a much higher bandwidth. That doesn't seem to be helping all that much compared to GDDR5X however. These Fury GPUs tend to run cooler than what Nvidia has to offer in that compartment, but none of these results are really of any concern. The power consumption as expected turns out to be a huge plus on the GTX 1080. But yeah that's nice and all but my opinion is we should wait to see what AMD has to offer. According to the rumors great stuff is to come and I truly can't wait to test their new GPUs out. For now Nvidia scored real hard here. We'll soon get to see what AMD's upcoming GPUs are capable of. I'm excited. What do you think about all this? Let me know down below in the comment section but don't tell me this comparison is unfair. I already know myself it is. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.